Grant not to be today. Do you, do you think it was just a case of being be beaten by the better side? No. Um, I don't think there was anything in the game at all, to be honest with you. Um, it's, it's interesting watching it from, from the view I had it. Um, I didn't feel threatened at all, to be honest with you. We didn't feel threatened. I thought we did our job well um, all game until that moment. Um, there's two chances in the second half. They've taken our, theirs. We haven't taken ours. Um, I think that was the game. You know, we've made a very good Stockport team, team have to change their shape after 35 minutes um, to try and match us up a little bit. And I felt the big moments in games, look, football games are won in big moments. Big moments of Mo Fowl's chance, Joe Ironside's chance when I came back to him. And then, you know, for us, it's a, we've just showed it to the players in there because we don't want it to linger the Monday morning. Um, just, not, just not enough intensity on the press not enough intensity we don't get to the ball quick enough in midfield we let a centre forward turn we don't get to the cross and then we and we just leave Alafi free in the middle of the six yard box so um, big moments in games either win you or lose your games today it's lost us the game so for 70-75 minutes you did match Stockport today and it was a case of do you feel like that's the performance levels that you need between now and the end of the season to, to create something don't get me wrong we weren't, we weren't great today from, from an attacking point of view but I didn't think they were either you know, and um, I felt it was a game that was just going to peter out into a draw. Um, we were trying to win it, obviously, but you know, watching it from higher up in the pitch, I did, we felt quite comfortable. Um, you know, I was sat there, I was on the, the comms, the cliff, and glove, and I said, "Look, a mistake's going to going to cost us game either way." And that was just before the moment of Mo Fall, the chance where it just seemed said to Mo there, maybe if you go around him, you have a chance to score. If you don't score, he probably brings you down. And then Joe. You know, he's got to keep it down rather than go high, and we, and we score from it. Um, the goal that we've conceded is, is, is very, very soft from our point of view. Um, they may think it's a good goal from theirs, but from us we can defend that, and we defended that cross 99 times out of 100 today. Uh, and the one moment we don't, it hurts us. Yeah, so after that, that you had a two-game run, uh, two runs of winning, lost to Barrow, then you beat Crawley in midweek, and then lost today. Is consistency becoming a bit of an issue for you? It's, 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 it's an issue for a lot of teams and, and, and of course we're one of them you know we're we need to we need to show the same uh, concentration levels that we've showed at home you know in, in recent games and uh, if I had I said to the lads if I had to flip that game around and, and played it to at the Eco Powers no doubt we'd have took that chance there's no doubt we'd have defended that you know that moment I don't know why it has to has to be has to be different away from home um so it's it's a it's not a physical thing. It's a it's more of a mental thing. The last 10, 15 minutes of games, there was there was moments when we we're slicing the clearances. We, you know, the last moments of the game over the, on the far side of the pitch, we're, we're crossing into people rather than putting it in the box. And um, yeah, there's, there's those moments that we need to improve on and get better at, and, and I'm sure we will. You talked about the touchline ban that you had today. Um, seeing it from above, do you think that gives you a better perspective of what your squad's doing at the moment? No, I, d I didn't enjoy it one bit, to be honest with you. I'd rather be down on the touchline, but it is what it is. You know, I've had three yellow cards, one for contesting the, the penalty against Harrogate, which wasn't a penalty, one for contesting the sending off against Tommy Rowe, which we felt wasn't a sending off, and then the referee that turned up on Tuesday night, the less said the better. So um, that's the reason, and it's it's frustrating, because that's what you know we're, we're coming up with most weeks. And I thought the referee was fine today, but... Um, you just see from from higher up the pitch there. You know, it's 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 nice to see it from from our, but I, I didn't enjoy it one bit to be honest. It's a double game week. You've got Mansfield on Tuesday and the Papa John's, and then you've got another league game against Sutton next week. I'm expecting rotation on Tuesday, but what's what's the squad depth at the moment? We we haven't got it. We haven't got squad depth to to rotate. You know, we have what we have at the minute. And, um, 19, sorry, yeah, 19 fit 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 outfield players. Uh, at this moment in time, so it's it's difficult. It's difficult. So um, look, it's a. We'll see. I mean, I haven't even thought about Tuesday's game yet. We're, our focus was on this today. Um, you know, we had, we had some really good moments. Um, I think I think another thing really disappointed me today. We've been looking really threatening at set players today. We when we did hit the ball, there was no real conviction about it. I remember Joe always hit her in the, in the f second half, where a bit of conviction back. Um, or someone getting on the end of one of those touches that Joe Ironside had and, and Tom Anderson had in the first half, then it could have been a different story. 
does that mean that Mansfield's a bit of a free hit to try and experiment on those set pieces? Listen, no game's a free hit. No game's a free hit. We want to we want to try and, and compete and win in every game. Um, today we've come. We look, they're a good team. Stockport. They've been on a good run. I thought we limited them to very little. Um, this is a team that scores a lot of goals. Apart from one moment, one mistake. In fact, it's a team mistake. You know, watching the goal back, we don't press. We don't get out to Sarkovic. We don't press, and, and, and when it goes into the number nine, and we don't press when the ball goes wide, and we just leave Alafe. So it's it's a combination of errors there that's just led to that goal. Yeah, and finally, the fans today, a thousand a thousand come in. It's a packed away end. They're, they're brilliant. They were outstanding, brilliant. It's you know, our fans are outstanding anyway. You know, there's there's you know, I, I sing I sing their praises every week, and it's it's really really annoying me at the minute that we're not giving them anything to shout about away from home. It's really, really annoying because they travel in their numbers, they come for a good away day, uh, and we keep letting them down, but it will change. Grant, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I understand you're disappointed. There's some aspects of that performance you're pleased with, because, like you said, there's nothing in the game against a very good team. Yeah, I was. I mean, look, we, I thought we, well, our game plan was good. We wanted to press them high. We wanted to get after them. We made them kick. I knew when they'd kicked that Tom and, and, and Joe and Bales could deal with Alafi and, uh, and, uh, and, and Louis Barry. Um, if, they, if they kick long, um, hence why you know their change has has has, has come, um, and then it was just a, a man v man, you know, much much uh, being top of your jewels and get after it. But the moment you know we for the last 10 15 minutes we just got all, we set off them too much, and I said to the boys, look, you, you, to play in this team you need to be you need to be able to get after people, you need to be pressing, you need to be in people's faces for 10 minutes we we went safe and we didn't get after it and they scored in that spell do you think they ran out of gas or was that a mentality thing just dropping deep it's not fitness the team's fit the team's very fit by the way and uh, it's i would say it's more of a mental thing um that we need to keep working on i've said this to you before we'll keep working on that mental side of the game with them that that no fear approach doesn't matter where we go we have to be we have to be consistent with our game plan for the whole game. Uh, today we set off it a bit. Yeah, these lot, I think, joint top of the league with Notts County. Uh, it wasn't at the Notts County game, but it sounds like you were firmly second best in that one, whereas this one, is, there's a lot more signs of progress. No, we're, we're progressing. I think that's what it is. I think we're progressing as a team. We're getting better. Um, you know, for, I don't know what minute their goal was. Was 83. it 83? 83. For, well, for 80 odd minutes, I thought we were really in control. Um, and then for the last 10, 15 minutes of the game, we just, we just, we just didn't get to the ball. We set off them. You know, we're making change. We're putting a bit of fresh legs on. We're still not doing it. So it's that's something we need to look at. We need to address. And um, in time, when these players come back fit and stuff, the boys who don't do it simply will not play. That's 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 the message I said to the boys in there. If you, if you don't want to get to the ball, you won't be in this team. You, you need to be able to press and get after it. Chance to bounce back straight away and test yourself against a really good team in Mansfield on Tuesday. Then, yeah, yeah, it's obviously you know another good game for us against a, a good Mansfield team. So um, we'll look forward to that when it comes along.